Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. But the first time somebody told me that, I don't know, I thought they were bullshitting me, so boom, I shot him. The thing is, He was right. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Saladino. A new Punisher makes his Marvel Comics debut. <laughs> new Punisher. Instead of just sticking by their readership and appreciating the fact that Punisher is a very popular brand name, they're twisting themselves into a pretzel. Marvel is twisting themselves into a pretzel to try to have, try to have it both ways. They're trying to keep the Punisher name, but also pretend that it has nothing to do with Frank Castle or the original logo. So they give, or they're making this new Punisher, some, some asshole named Joe Garrison. Last week, Marvel Comics teased a single question. Who is the Punisher? It's Frank Castle. Series writer David Peoples revealed the answer. Joe Garrison, Mr. Garrison. All right, so I don't know who this asshole Joe Garrison is. I don't know if he's been in the comic books before, related to like Nick Fury or S.H.I.E.L.D. or anything like that, but I don't give a shit about him. The new Punisher logo looks like a social media app version of the original. It looks like the kind of thing that a tech company would design to promote like Twitter or threads or something like that. It doesn't look menacing. It doesn't look cool or ghastly. It just looks like this silly, futuristic, childish thing. Like I think it was Yellow Flash who said that the, the middle part, like the nose looks like a pause button. Now I'm surprised that they didn't pick a black guy to be the Punisher. And the only reason why I feel like they probably didn't do that Number one, I think even they are starting to realize how predictable they are with that sort of thing. So they were like, no, if we make it a black guy, everybody's going to clown us for it. But also, I think that there is an element of understanding that the Punisher is still problematic in the sense that he's he's illegally killing people. So maybe they don't want to have a black guy going around just killing people, you know, <laughs> so, you know, because they could probably I could see where Twitter would complain about that. You know, there's this mentality that if you make Frank Castle gay or make the Punisher black, that's going to make cops and soldiers who use the Punisher logo, you know, as badges and patches or, you know, stickers on their police cars or whatever. That's going to make them suddenly not like the, like the symbol. And they're really stupid. They They connect things that are... The people who like the Punisher logo will always like the Punisher logo. No matter what you do to the character, nobody's going to take it seriously. If there are cops who are actually not just fans of the logo, but fans of the character, they're just going to say, yeah, they destroyed that character, but I still like the logo. It's not that they're going to go, oh, wait, they made Frank Castle gay now? I, fuck it, I don't like the symbol anymore. It doesn't represent white supremacy. It doesn't represent Frank Castle being a white supremacist. It's a cool-looking logo. Everybody knows it's the Punisher logo. We're punishing the bad guys. The people who are fans of the Punisher are comic book fans who like the character. They understand that he's an anti-hero. They also understand that he's not a white supremacist. <laughs> and the fans themselves are not white supremacists just because they like this character. Uh, comic book fans are smarter than the people who criticize comic books, particularly superhero comics. And they're also smarter than the people who make comic books these days for the most part. You know, they've hired a bunch of people who came from Tumblr, Twitter, YA, they literally hired a woman, the one who did Ironheart, I forgot her name. They hired her because on Twitter she said, Riri Williams, Ironheart, has the same hairstyle as I do. I should write the comic book. And so they literally gave her a job off of that. So, this, all right, what are they saying about this Punisher? I don't care. I'm just reading something that I think is funny about it. Uh, let me see. What was it? Oh, this is the part. In this action-packed new Punisher saga, Frank Castle has disappeared. He was actually shit on in thrown in a dumpster but evil will always need to be punished well again get your own name dude don't just take punisher name do a little fake twitter version 
Twitter app logo version of the Punisher symbol and then go out there and be like, I'm action packed. I'm punishing crime. It's this weird thing where this guy has nothing to do with the Punisher. You know, like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, the Punisher isn't just a name. Isn't a mantle. I hate this attitude that modern audience approach to, oh, anybody could be called the Punisher. The name is what's important, not the actual character. Um, I think Wally West is the only mantle swap that I can think of. It ain't a mantle swap. Flash died, Barry Allen died, and Wally West took the name. I can't think of any other situation. Maybe Dick Grayson, if Batman... Bruce Wayne died, but I don't even, I feel like Nightwing is his own person. Like Dick is his own person. He wouldn't at this point take the Batman mantle. I guess maybe Damien would be the one to do it because at least that's his dad. Although I think Damien Wayne shouldn't even be alive anymore. There's too many Robins and I don't like the idea of Batman having a son. Like he was supposed to be killed and they brought him back, but whatever. I don't want to get into that either. I don't know. I just, this is just thought it was funny. I thought it's just insane what Marvel has done over the years. DC too, but it's insane with Marvel. They've destroyed their company and then they keep doubling down and then at the same time they keep trying to have it both ways they try they're trying to serve god and mammon both it's like just serve god serve your actual paying audience and i don't think it's it might be too late i personally think it's too late i think you just hire one good writer and put him on spider-man first do that get rid of zeb wells you know people want mj back so i would bring mj back and you know make that a part of the story how they come back together and then just go from there. Not the stuff where they, everything they seem to do is designed to piss off the people that they want to buy this shit. Well, I don't know. So, about the Punisher symbol. Wes from Thinking Critical did a video about the structure of Frank Castle and the Punisher. And he made a great point um, about why you know cops, and particularly the military, um, use the symbol. And what it means for the people who actually use the symbol. It's not about, oh, it's a, a new Nazi flag. It's not like Frank Castle's a great guy, and I understand that part. But soldiers and police officers have used the logo as a sign of camaraderie. A lot of people can't really relate to that idea that when you get sent somewhere and it's really dangerous, there is a sense of brotherhood, a sense of fellowship while you're there, and you will look for a common symbol that can uh, you know, kind of represent who you are and what your mission is and as a reminder of what you accomplished. When I personally was in Afghanistan, we had a coin minted for our little tiny unit that was embedded with the army. And guess what? Shockingly, there was a Punisher logo on it. Now, we weren't all trying to be Frank Castle. It was just a way to remember the accomplishments that we had done while we were in a very not pleasant place. Because I can tell you right now, when you're sitting on the side of a mountain, half a world away from your family, getting shot at every day, and eating absolute dog shit food in the filthiest place on earth. It's not exactly a pleasant experience and you can't get through it without your brothers and sisters that are there with you. And along the way, you do meet people. You meet people at other units and you might want to pull out that coin and hand it to them and tell them, job well done. I really appreciate what you did there. Without your help, we couldn't have succeeded today. Or as you're on your way out, maybe you work with somebody for nine months straight, but you never saw them, right? because you were stuck on the side of a mountain in Afghanistan and they were on another base. As you're helicoptering your way out of Afghanistan, you might want to give that person a coin as a way of remembering the things that you accomplished together and what you were doing there. When I personally was in Afghanistan, the army unit that I was attached to were the Arctic Wolves. Shockingly, they were out of Alaska and their coins had Arctic Wolves on them, right? Because that was the nickname of the unit and that was something that they could all rally around while they were in the shit for a year at a time. And it's the same way with police officers. Every day they go out there, put themselves in harm's way. You never know what's going to happen. You don't know which day might be your last. And sometimes you need a symbol that you can all rally around. And maybe once people see that, maybe your fellow brothers in blue or whatever, and they know what you went through too. And that's as simple as it is. They think, Marvel thinks... And Jerry Conway, the creator of the character, thinks, and, and a lot of idiots, like an Eric Larson probably thinks this, they're like, well, we're going to change the race of the Punisher character, or maybe even the gender. And now that it's a black character or a woman, none of these white supremacist police officers or soldiers will want to be associated with the logo anymore. I hate to break it to you. That ain't going to change a goddamn thing because that's not how the world works. And that certainly isn't the reason anyone uses that logo as a symbol of their unit or their time doing something. This shit is so stupid. These idiots think they're fighting racism by destroying a character and making him less valuable rather than realizing you're just destroying your own IP and giving lifelong readers a reason to never come back.